going on you wonderful people my name is brandon welcome back to great tv so in today's video we're gonna go over streamlabs obs settings for mac what settings that you should be using or you can be using close enough depending on your internet speed so if you're new here like this video subscribe if you're new I want to say one thing, new subscribers, welcome to Creighton TV. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing. Woo, we have gained so many subscribers over the last week or two. So let's get into this video. First things first, you can always check your internet speed. If you have fast internet speed, you can run uh, better settings. If you, you know, moderate internet speed, hey, it is what it is, you know, um, just use what you can. Me, I'm gonna show you guys my internet speed. So I'll show you the first thing. This is what I'm pushing. As you guys can see, we'll let it run right now. I have Verizon internet, so you guys gonna be like, dang, your speeds are incredible. So this is right now, it's gonna show my download speed, my consistent download speed, because I do play with the wire connection in. So if you play over Wi-Fi, you might have a little slight delay on speed. So make sure you try to, if you can't play it with your modem. So you see my download is 148, probably because a lot of people have been home, you know, because I stay at home every situation. Normally I'm at like 155, download and my upload be like 155 160 but let's see what we're running bam you see my upload speed 152 y'all probably like holy snaps yeah i'm pushing fast internet you know that's that's how i like to be so i can run lag free that's how i've been running zero lags and as you can see you see my download upload speed i got that good internet so if you haven't got good internet you might want to invest in call your cable coming them and boost you up or something but you don't need as fast as me but i just always have to have the best you know fast internet because I, I don't like to have zero lag and everything else now we can close that up next step what you want to do before you even do it after you check your internet speed and everything so you know that you're good if you have more than six to eight devices on your internet start signing out of some stuff like if you got your phone your tablets all the other stuff turn those off wi-fi so you know you can have a better performance while you're trying to stream and record games turn those off because if you keep them all on it's going to bring down when you're trying to stream and give you more lag and everything else so now i'm gonna open up Streamlabs, as you guys can see you guys see my stream labs running in the background see the hyperx podcast desktop audio still set up you know you can see that the game capture is still there and everything else so what you want to do you know when you if you have the hd 60s hd 60s you have the obs link when you have everything set up your audio input only if you have the Elgato chat link, if you have the Elgato chat link, should be analog line in. That's when you set it up to it. If you don't have the uh, Elgato chat link, hear me now, don't have the Elgato chat link, you wanna put it back to HDMI. That's how you get your gameplay audio to come through. If you leave it on an analog line in, that's only if you have the Elgato chat link. Now you get everything all set up. I know a lot of people saying they, they can't hear the game audio. OBS link only works for HD60S. Now, if you have a HD60S Plus, you do not need the OBS link. You just plug and play options so you don't have to worry about it. analog audio in. That's only for if you have uh, the Elgato chat link, which I do. I'll show it to you right here. See, mine's all connected and everything else. If I unplug it, I will put it on HDMI so you can get the audio gameplay. You see the gameplay going by and everything else. Now we're going to get into the settings of Streamlab, which you should be using on Mac. You guys already seen my audio speed, so we'll go over here to settings. We'll go to Stream. No, not stream. We'll go to output. Make sure this is your output mode is changed to advanced. Now, audio track, you can leave it on one because on Mac, you can only record one audio track at a time. Output resolution, you can see that 720, you don't need that high. Me, now my bit rate right here, my bit rate, I put to 4,000. Now, if you have, you know, five megabit, my five megabits per second upload speed or 10, you might want to lower it down to about 2,500 streamlines working. You can if you have maybe 2,000, you don't want to really go lower than say 2,350, 2,250. You don't want to go lower than that, pretty much. If you have a higher one, you know, if you're streaming and your partner, you can stream higher, but 4,000 for me is good. Doesn't cause too much problems or anything else. Um, you can run higher depending on your internet speed. I run 4,000. Uh, you know, I think Twitch recommends no more than 6,000. So I run four. You go to your recording. I set audio tracks for just all three, you know, software encoder, you know, using the graphics card. My bit rate on there, I still run 4,000. 4,000 on this bit rate. You guys can see everything else. I put my CPU usage ultra fast because I have a powerful machine. Now, if you don't have a powerful machine, Mac, you might want to lower it down to like either super fast, very fast. You know, me, I put mine on ultra. That's what I do on there. Now, let's go up here to audio, your audio bit rate, gameplay. I put audio one, 320. You can leave it at 160. I just put 320 for a better sound performance of the game capture. And then I put my HyperX Quadcast at 320, you know, just produce better audio sound for my voice to make it sound much 
professional and everything else. The audio, your sample rate can stay at 44. I changed mine to 48 hertz because I have an audio interface hooked up with my system. That's why mine is on 48. Now, yours stay on 44. Then everything else you can leave the same. You can add your microphone and all of that. The I show you audio capture, that's in my previous video. So go watch that last video if you want to see that, how to record desktop audio. It's, I'll leave the card links up here. So go check out that video. Video, you know, I got the base, you know, 1920 by 1080. Output scale, just leave it at 720, you know, cause you know, you're not gonna really need that high. And then I put 16 samples. I found that that to work better in 32 cause 32 is putting a lot of pressure on the MacBook and it was making it, causing it to get real, real hot. Uh, common FPS values, leave it at 60. You can change this to 30 if your machine is not that um, powerful and strong, you can change it to 30 which it will, will do better performance for you and bring down your lag, which I learned to find out. We'll click on advance, um, nothing down there, and now we'll hit done. So now that is all your settings that you need to know when you're running Streamlabs OBS on a Mac. I'll show you this, open my advanced settings. This is my advanced settings. Don't need this. You guys can see me click off all these. Now, you don't need them all the tracks checked. Why? Because on Mac, you can only record one track at a time. So I just bring mine down there just because I like it that way, you know, and it helps it run better where it actually picks up the game audio and everything else you can see everything else so this is what you're going so now you guys probably say okay well it's still a little lag and how do you figure out your offset okay one second is every 1000 millisecond now so figure out that what you will have to do is go to your number and see how far you want to be how far you are off on yours me Mine, I know I'm probably five seconds off. That's why I got it down. I'm still working on the video to you know, get the right thing. So you can change these input values. Start off small, start off around, you know, 270. Start off there and go up from there and, and multiply it. Each time 270, next time go up to 540. Then after that, go up to, um, what I'm doing is multiplying by two, you know, 270, 270, which is 540. And then you go from 540, add another 270 and just go up. You go up that way will help you find your offsets. Like me, right now, I think my game audio is probably off. So I'm gonna start off, I'll say five. And then I will change my audio. 540, yeah, that's really about it. I'm not really playing no desktop audio, so I don't need to change that one. I would change, that would help sync it up. Then from there, you have to sync up your webcam and the way you do that is you go to your webcam, right click, go to filters, and then you have to add a filter to your webcam, which is a video delay auto sync, which is this one right here at the bottom. You add that, figure out what you do. So the way you do it is you record yourself, which is down here, record, record yourself, save that video, see where you're off at, you know, you say left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down, then take it to your editing software, wherever you like to edit, take it there and watch your mouth, middle of your mouth and your hands or whatever you're doing, um, or how far it off. That's how you can determine, okay, uh, if you know, okay, I'm five seconds off, I'm 10 seconds off, I'm this seconds off, yeah, other than that. I don't really mess with that because I have mine all set up right and everything else. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, how do you guys fix the lag? Check my last video up there in the uh, description box, I'll leave it up here. I, I did do a video on how to fix your delay. Well, I'll finish off this video right here and I'll show you guys the last thing. Now, I will put a little card thing because I, if you use a MacBook, the MacBook does have USB-C plug Because I found out now, if you use a dongle when you're playing with your Elgato, use dongles, you will get a more a delay and you just have to deal with it because you know, MacBooks have USB-C and everything else and the Elgato doesn't come with USB-C. It comes with USB-C to USB-A, which sucks. But if you want to prove that, I will put a, a link where you can get this God Spin Super Speed USB-C, USB-C cable. For the, which works for the Elgato, powers it and everything else. I'll put a link to that. Shout out to Midnight Man for you know giving me the update on that. He's the one put me on form this, so I'm not gonna take all the credit. But yes, if you get one of those cables, they have one feet, three feet, and six feet. You get one of those cables, you be in the ball game, it'll help you run plug and play, and other than that. So I'll put a link to that down in the description box below. It's a little affiliate link if you want to get yourself one. You know, help me help you out. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. This is the Streamlabs settings for, for Mac. If you want to find out more videos, just leave a comment down below what else you want me to do, and I will bring more stuff for you on the Mac. Leave a comment down below. But other than that, if you did enjoy this video, it's your boy Brandon Cummings from Creighton TV. New subscribers, welcome to Creighton TV, and I'm signing out of here. Hey.